is me here as at the 25th of April 2024, five days after my 50th birthday. Blind, lame, unable to do anything, all organs not functional. This is me before I joined NSPPD. And now, this is me as of the seventh day in the beautiful month of November, year 2024. The glorious God has given me a new name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Truly, what God cannot do does not exist. My name is Modupe Olainka Omoyeni, and I'm giving this testimony from Lagos, Nigeria. In 2016, I took terribly ill, and as a human being and as a family, we went to look for we went everywhere to seek medical help to ensure that my life was saved the sickness was so bad but there was no diagnosis all the mirs everything we did came out clean at a stage the doctors were like why don't you just go home and start eating because i, I lost appetite i lost a lot of weight and because i had lost weight my muscle mass was down and they said okay go home and eat but in 2017 as we continued in our search to get solution to the problem, we met a doctor who said that um, my, my, I had cervical cancer. He was suspecting cervical cancer. That frightened me a lot because my mother died of breast cancer. In 2010, she died. So this frightened me. My aunt, which is my mom's sister, and my siblings, we all sought for medical help everywhere we could to ensure that I didn't lose my life the same way my mother did. The surgery was done. I had everything evacuated, my cervix, my womb, everything, my, my ovaries, my fallopian tube, everything was evacuated. And then they took it for a biopsy. This biopsy came out clean. There was no cancer. But after that operation, everything went the bizarre until I became blind and lame. I mean, totally blind. I could see nothing and I was lame. I couldn't walk. Before I got blind and lame, I was not even able to go out anymore. I had to leave work. I couldn't take care of my children anymore. I was widowed during that period of nine years. And so eventually along the line of the sickness, my brother introduced me to the fire altar. Apparently my brother doesn't live in Nigeria. He lives in Canada, but he was always on. I wasn't even interested at that time because I knew I didn't have the strength to pray. I didn't have the strength to do anything. So, but my brother and siblings, they were just there looking, praying. So in 20, when he came in from Canada in April this year, April 25th, April 25th this year, he told me that the Lord said, he came to see me. Apparently, the Lord told him in Canada to come to Nigeria and achieve three things. Those three things he must achieve before returning, and he did achieve them. The first one was to come and see me because God told him I was dying. At that time, I was already blind and lame. I was taken to Ibadan on the 25th of April this year in an ambulance because I couldn't walk and I couldn't see. All my organs were not functional. I hadn't taken a bath for three years, and everything was so bad. So I was moved to Ibadan. But my brother was always on the fire altar, even with the difference in time, he was always on the fire altar. And lo and behold, oh my God, I wasn't on the altar. I don't, I couldn't, I never even was on the altar. But God heard my brother's prayers. God heard the prayers of the people that were praying for me. And guess what happened, Pastor Jerry? On May 9th, exactly 301 Canadian time, during the NSPPD fire prayers in the morning, you mentioned my case. You said, I don't know who you are, but your elder sister that is at the verge of death, at the point of death, she will not die. I don't know who you are, but the Lord said that your elder sister that has a point of death, your elder sister that is at the point of death, at the sound of your amen, your sister will not die. And this was just one hour into the prayers, May 9th, one hour into the early morning prayers. And I tell you, sir, after nine years, lying in the same spot 